Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelandvisualeffects.com and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create cinematic tailor with some burning effects so let's see what we will create today. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button for more amazing content and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition and let's call it cinematic trailer. And as always, I'm going with 920 1080p, frame rate 30 and duration 6 seconds long, then click on OK. Now click here, then go to bit depth, then change the bit depth to 32 bits per channel, then click on OK. Now create our text layer, so right click new, then click on text. Now type your text here, I type in cinematic tailor. Okay, now make it smaller a little bit and make it center. Now select this layer, then right click, then choose pre compose. Now select this uh, mobile attributes and rename it to text. Then hit OK. Now create another composition. Let's call it noise. Then hit OK. Now create a solid layer. So right click new, then click on solid. Then hit OK and add fractal noise on it. Now brightness, um, contrast, set it 500, then add curves, then change the RGB curves to something like this. Now go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on brightness, set it minus 200. Then go to around 3 seconds and change the brightness value to 200. Now select this layer then press Ctrl plus D. Now select this second layer then change the track mat layer to our first layer. Then change the alpha mat to luma mat. Ok now go to project window then go to our cinematic tailor form. Then select our noise comp and place it into this timeline. Then simply select this text layer, then change the layer track mat to our noise layer. And then click here to change the alpha mat to luma mat. Okay, now add find edges onto our noise layer. Then click on invert. Now select this two layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to outline, then click on ok, ok let's add tint on it, let's change the white color, ok let's add roughen edges, Border set it 1.50 and then scale set 50. Now add glow on it. Glow threshold set it 0. Radius set it uh, 0.5. Intensity set it 0 0.1. Then again add glow. This time glow threshold set it 80. Glow radius set it 20 and glow intensity set it 0.5. Now select this layer, then press Ctrl plus D and then simply delete this rough and edges uh, effect. Okay, now again create another composition. Let's call it text reveal. Then click on OK. Now select our text, then place it into this timeline. Then select our noise layer, then place it into this timeline. 
then change the text layer track mac to our noise layer now select these two layer then right click then choose pick up boss select mobile attributes and rename it to mat then hit ok ok let's import our project files you can download full project files uh, from link in the description box below now select our wall texture layer then place it into this timeline then make it smaller and change the position then change the layer track mat to our mat layer looks good to me okay now go to cinematic tailor comp then go to project window and select our text reveal comp and place it into this timeline perfect Okay, now add tint on it. Let's change the white to something gray. Okay, let's add particles. Make it bigger a little bit and change the position. Let's try and preview this. Looks good to me. Now select all layers, then right click, then choose pre compose, then select move all attributes, then simply rename it to text burning, then hit OK. Now make this layer 3D by clicking here. Okay, now select this texture layer, then place it into this timeline. Press T on your keyboard and set the opacity to 30%. Make this layer 3D as well, then press P, then increase the Z amount, something like this, and then simply scale it up like this. Okay, now select our fog layer, then place it into this timeline, and then simply change the layer mode to screen. Also make this layer 3D by clicking here. Okay, now create a adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer now add crops now change the RGB curves to something like this Okay, let's add sharpen. Sharpen value set to 30. Then again add curves. And change the RGB curves to something like this. Okay, now again uh, create another adjustment layer add curves on it then add sharpen value set it 10 and add noise value set it 5 Let's adjust the color a little bit. Okay. Now create a black solid layer. Then hit OK. 
then select the layer then go to toolbar and select this rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this max path then hold down alt control then drag then simply click on invert okay okay now create a camera so right click new then click on camera preset set it uh, 50 mm then hit ok now go to beginning of this animation then press p and then set a keyframe on position now select this keyframe and move it few frames forward now increase the z value something like this Now select these two keyframe, then press F9 to make them easy ease. Open graph editor and simply change the graph curve to something like this. Now select these three layer, then turn on motion blur on it. Now select our text layer, then press S, then go to the beginning of this animation, then set a keyframe on scale and then go to around 5 seconds and scale value set it 90 okay let's run preview this our animation is complete that's how i create the whole project that's it for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any questions then do let me know in the comment for now stay safe and I will catch you later, bye bye.